Hello, and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today, we're going to be combining stamp sets to create a super cute scene, and we're going to be altering one of these stamp sets too. And these sets are some of my favorite new sets. It's Keep On Swimming and Say What Pets, and they work really, really well together for creating a scene. Because we're going to be stamping out so many images, I thought it would be easier to lay out all of the stamps in my Misty. You can see there I am also taking out the set Oh Gnome, and I'm going to use the little circular speech bubble from that because I thought it looked really cute with the circular fishbowl. So now that we've laid all the stamps onto our white cardstock, we can pick it up with the door of the Misty, and we're going to be using some jet black ink here with the Zocopic Friendly ink, and we're going to stamp out all of these images. Then I'm going to take the stamp chamois and just clean all of these images off really well because I want to stamp the table one more time because there's going to be two tables in this scene. So we'll ink that up with the jet black ink and stamp that there over to the side. Also, at this point, I forgot to stamp out the cat from Say What Pets. We had done the bird from that set, but not the cat. So later on, I stamped that cat out. We're going to be using Copic markers to color in these images, and I love Copic markers so much. They're my favorite way to color. And so we're just going to be coloring these in in some nice bright colors. I love the green for the little bird there. Absolutely adorable. And then for his stand, I'm going to be using some E20 browns because later for the table, we're going to use E50s, and I wanted to make sure there was a nice contrast. Now when I'm coloring big areas, I like to lay down my lightest marker first. It's going to kind of tell me where my darkest areas are going to be. Then I put my darkest, then my medium, and then my light. And the reason I lay down that light color first is because it kind of wets the paper and I find it easier to blend between my markers. Now to create a wood-like texture here, you can see that I'm coloring kind of messy and with streaks a little bit, and that's going to make it look like it's actually made out of wood, which is really, really cool. So you can see I'm doing kind of like streaks and then blending them out, but not too much so that there's still some of that streaky nature to it, and I think it looks really, really pretty. Now this may be one of my favorite stamps of all time, and that's this cute little puffer fish. And so you'll see here, I'm going to blend it out, and I really like putting that neon Y11 yellow at the top. I think it gives him just a bunch of cool just pizzazz and pop on the card. Now for this cat, we're going to be using some toner grays, and today I'm actually recreating a card by my friend Elena. I love this card so much that I asked her if I could recreate it for the video, and I loved how she added little stripes to the cat. It really adds a nice little detail to it. So I added those stripes with my T4 marker, and then I kind of blended them out with my lightest marker just so they weren't so harsh. Now this is that Say What Pets cat I was talking about earlier, and on this one we're going to do some spots. So we've got a striped cat and a spotted cat, and I just think he looks so cute. And to finish him off, we're going to give him rosy cheeks and a little pink for the inside of his ears, and some rosy cheeks on the fish and the parrot. Now we're going to be taking the coordinating dies, and we're going to line those up with our stamped images and hold them in place with some post-it note tape. That's my favorite low-tack tape for holding dies in place. So we'll line all of these up, and then we can run those through our die cut machine, and we'll have perfectly cut out images that are going to be ready to create our scene on the card. The first thing we're going to do is combine some of these images. So I've got that cute little puffer fish, and I want to put him in the fishbowl. And so I'm going to put him on some foam squares. I feel like that makes him look even puffier, and I think it's a really, really cute look. So we're going to layer him in the fishbowl. And then we're going to take that cute little heart, and we're going to put that into the speech bubble. And I'm just going to attach that on with some tape runner. Now that we have those layered, we're going to start working on altering that table. So I didn't want there to be two tables that looked exactly the same, so I wanted there to be a shorter, smaller table. So we're going to do this by altering the stance. So I've taken out my scissors here, and we're going to cut right along that bottom edge of the top of the table, just right along that black line. Then you'll see that we're going to be left with two legs that are still attached. We're going to take those attached legs and just cut right along the border there, trimming off the middle part of the table. And then these are going to become our shorter legs. They're going to go underneath our tabletop. We're going to add some tape runner there to the top of the table, and that's going to help us attach those legs on there perfectly. And so I was kind of lining up the legs with the other one just as a bit of a guide to make sure that they both stayed nice and straight. And then we're going to layer that tabletop there just a little bit lower. And so now we've got a tall table and a shorter table. And you could even play around with it more and create an even shorter table and just have so much fun with it. And I love this idea of altering stamps to work perfectly for your scene. 
Now we're creating an indoor scene for this card since we've got those tables in the fishbowl. So we need some wallpaper, some baseboards, and some flooring. So for the wallpaper here, we have some gotta have gingham paper and I've die cut that with the largest of the large stitch rectangles and that's five and a half by four and a quarter. We're also gonna die cut some white cardstock and that's gonna become our baseboard. And then we're gonna die cut some knock on wood paper and some wood grain paper and that's gonna become our flooring. For the white baseboard piece, we're gonna trim that down about half an inch tall. And then for our flooring piece, we're gonna trim that down to be about an inch or an inch and a quarter high. Now, because we cut all of these pieces with the same stitched rectangle, they're all gonna have that beautiful stitching detail on them, which is gonna make the stitching go all the way around on the card. And I think that adds such a beautiful detail, especially to a clean and simple card like this one. So now we've added our flooring and then we're gonna add that baseboard. And I like to cover up a little bit of the edge of the brown pattern paper and that really gives it a nice finished look and to me really makes it look kinda of like a little baseboard there. Now here are all of those stamped and die cut images we worked on in the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna take some foam squares here and we're just gonna trim them right in half to create a skinnier piece so that it fits perfectly on the legs of that table. Then we can add that table with some foam squares onto the scene and I just love how that's looking. We're going to keep doing the same here. So we're going to take the shorter table and I'm just going to tuck them under each other there just so they're nice and layered and that's going to be up on some foam squares too. And really we're just going to be popping everything up here. So we're going to add that cute little fishbowl with the puffer fish. I love him. I feel like I need to give him a name or something. And then there we've got the parrot and the fish food. And I just love mixing and matching. We've got things from Keep On Swimming and Say What Pets and all of these cute little pet images go together so well. Next, we'll add that speech bubble with the heart. And then we can start to work on adding our cats. I love the idea of the cat just staring right up at the fishbowl. It cracks me up every time. So we're gonna layer that on with some foam squares. And then we're gonna take our cute little spotted cat, the one from Say What Pets, and we're gonna layer him over top. But I love that he's kind of looking right at you on the card. Now here is a wavy banner and we're gonna die cut that out of some white cardstock. And we're gonna take a sentiment from Keep On Swimming that's actually a straight sentiment and we're gonna curve it and I've got a fun little trick for doing that. I'm gonna take my die and place it cut side up which is gonna look like the opposite curve of the die cut. But we're gonna do this so that we can attach our stamp directly onto the block instead of trying to attach it from underneath which is how I used to do it. So I'm just gonna curve my stamp because clear stamps will curve perfectly to match that curve. And you'll see when I flip that block over, the curve is gonna match the die cut perfectly. So then we can ink it up with some black licorice ink and you'll see how easy that is. I find it easier to attach my that stamp that way which seems almost a little backwards than trying to attach attach it from underneath of the block. So if you guys try that, let me know what you think about it. So I'm gonna add some tape runner to the sentiment and then attach that to the card. And then we can trim off any of the excess. And I love the idea of the sentiment, you blow me away, kind of looking like it's coming from the side in that curve. It just is so cute and so awesome. Then after that, all we need to do is create a standard size card base, which is gonna be five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm just gonna add some tape runner to that card base. And then we can layer our card front right on top. And this card is just so absolutely adorable. It just cracks me up. The fun pun and the cats looking up at the puffer fish. This would make someone's day. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to send this to someone. And then I decided to add a little finishing touch. So I went into my Manaterrific stamp set and there's some little bubbles in there that are super, super cute. And so I just added some tape runners to those and we're gonna layer that right onto the card just to kind of add this little finishing touch. And I like the balance between the speech bubble and then the little air bubbles of the fish. So now the card is all done. I had so much fun combining these two stamp sets that are two favorites of mine and even altering a stamp to make it work for the scene. And so I can't wait to see what kind of cool ideas you guys have for combining stamp sets. So make sure to share them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.